Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. Hi, I'm Martine LaDuc. We're at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve, and this is All, All About, About Water. Today, we're going to be talking about one of our most important natural resources. So remember, our natural resources are resources from nature that we use, like timber from the trees. We use that to make everything from pencils to houses. Uh, soil is a natural resource. And today we're going to be talking about water, one of our most important natural resources. You probably have been told not to waste water. But if you look at our planet Earth, most of our planet's covered with water. So I was kind of wondering, why is everybody worried about white wasting water when we have so much water? 70% uh, of our planet is covered with water. But the type of water that we use is fresh water. Do you know humans can only live three to four days without water? Even a camel can only go 15 days without water. So we need fresh water. And most of the water on our planet is salt water. All these big oceans are full of salt water. Our fresh water is rain, and that usually collects in lakes, ponds, streams, creeks, brooks, things like that. And it also soaks into the earth down to our Floridan aquifer where we pump up the water and we use it. So I'm going to demonstrate for you to give you an idea of how much of that water is fresh water. Let's pretend that the water in this jug, which I've colored blue for you, let's pretend all of this is all the water on the whole planet. So this is the salt water and the fresh water on planet Earth. If this gallon of water represented all the water on the whole planet, I'm going to show you percentage-wise how much would be fresh water. So all the water on the Earth and only 3% is fresh water. So that would be about this much of a gallon. So if this were all the water on the planet, only this much would be fresh water. And this is the water that 7.5 billion people on the planet need to use to drink, to stay alive, to wash their hands, to brush their teeth, take a shower, do their laundry. And that's not a lot of fresh water. But do you know that most of the fresh water, almost 2%, is frozen in the polar ice caps on the North Pole and the South Pole? So we can't even reach that in order to use it. So we call that accessible water, water that we can get to. So if we were to use this model to show how much of the water, the fresh water on our planet is accessible, it would only be about a little bit more than that. 1% of all the water on the planet is fresh water and accessible. So it's really important that we take care of the little bit of fresh water that we have and that we can access. So we want to always remember to take a shorter shower, turn off the water while you're brushing your teeth, Turn off the water while you're taking the 20 seconds to lather up your hands. And the best way to teach your friends that is by example. So when they see you doing it, they'll probably do it too. And that way we can all save a lot of fresh water. <laughs> I'm Martine LaDuc, and this video was brought to you by the Pinellas County School System along with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. I'll see you next time.